Hello, it's Justin here uh, once again. Um, this time I've got hold of a ZTC um, 511 digital master controller. And some of you may know that the people that worked on Zero One, um, some of them went and uh, worked on the Taunton Controls system. And some people think ZTC stands for Zero Two Controller. Um, and it emulates a Zero One, but it also emulates DC and can provide DCC controls independently, of course, not at the same time, um, but it can do uh, all of those. So to help uh, this demonstration along, I've got my um, little Great Western 101 tank loco on the track. Now it's a, had a, it happens to have a ZTC decoder in it, which is also capable of all three um, um, types of, uh, of control systems. So uh, let's just have a look at the controller to start with. Now you can see a fairly large power supply, which you'd normally hide out of the way, but I've just left it there for the moment uh, to demonstrate. Uh, obviously the keypad is uh, quite a different configuration to what we used to on Zero One. Um, we've also got a regulator, which is uh, really nice. It's the real feel controller. So you get a regulator to control the, uh, the speed of the locomotive. Um, we've also got the um, shift regulator, which allows you to go from forward to reverse, but also uh, place it in mid for coasting, uh, or at least to emulate coasting. And um, what that what tends to happen is basically the, the loco will stop slowly um, as uh, as if inertia was uh, was controlling its speed. But there's also a brake, um, which you can turn on, and of course emulates the brake being turned on and will slow the locomotive as you would expect. Um, otherwise, the controls pretty much do what the labels would suggest. So uh, let's uh, give this a run. So uh, you can actually change modes uh, with the machine running. So let's go into zero one mode, which is our most favorite mode in this channel. And uh, so what we need to do is go uh, clear uh, system control number four. And you'll notice on the screen, if I zoom right in, uh, when I hit enter, It'll go into zero one operation, uh, and currently we're set at loco one. Now this is actually uh, this loco is actually set at zero one uh, ID of six. So we'll go locomotive number six, um, and uh, the right arrow as we'd normally do. And again, you'll see the screen says that loco six is halted. So uh, let's give it a bit of power and see what happens. What do you know? It goes forward. Uh, and we'll go to the reverse, and uh, there you see it doing exactly what you would expect, um, but under zero one mode. And you might have heard the uh, the decoder makes a little bit of a whine uh, when it's operating. That's uh, fairly common, I've found, with the ZTC decoders. All right, let's try this one in DCC mode now. So same idea, we'll go clear, uh, we'll go system, control, and this time we'll go uh, number three, which is DCC control. And if we go down here, uh, when I press uh, the right arrow, you'll see that we're in DCC digital output and no locomotive controlled. Uh, now I haven't programmed an ID on this particular chip, uh, so it'll be the default of three. So let's go loco three and enter. So loco three currently halted. And uh, so again, let's get it going forward. Little bit of a delay while it works out that it's on DCC. There it goes. And we'll bring it back. So the decoder does take a little while to work out that it's uh, using a completely different method. Uh, but you can see that it does that. So that's in DCC mode. And you can see that the control is, uh, is pretty much as you would expect. Um, now interestingly, uh, this locomotive isn't recognized uh, on my regular DCC controller. Uh, the, the, uh, the ZTC DCC standard is an old version uh, of the, um, the standard and it isn't recognized uh, at least by uh, the DCC++ which is absolutely compliant with the standard. Uh, so it's interesting that it does work with the ZTC controller. In fact, the reason I bought this controller was to reset all of my ZTC decoders to see if I can get them working uh, on DCC correctly. Before we finish the demo, uh, one more thing we can do here is to actually emulate pure DC running. 
So uh, once again, uh, we go clear, uh, system, control, and this time number one. Again, if we go right into the screen, you see we're in system mode number one, happens to be, and you see it's loco zero because uh, that's just in keeping with the DCC standard that loco zero is every loco, um, and the same as it would be in DC mode, every loco on the track will be controlled at once. So let's give this a try. Now, I, I've already tried this, so I know it's gonna happen. So let's put on a bit of power. Okay, we'll see it's working okay there. But you'll notice it's uh, not really very well controlled. It's pretty much fast or slow. There's not a lot in between. In fact, it's decided not to play at all just at the moment. So let's just see if we can get it going backwards again. Oh, there we go. And of course, we're in DC mode, so um, the position of the forward and reverse is about uh, the track polarity, uh, not the direction of the actual locomotive, because we're in DC mode. But there you see, uh, it does work. It's very stop and start with DC, but they warn you about that in the manual. This isn't designed to be a DC controller. It can do it, but it's not its primary function. So there you go, the ZTC511 from Taunton Controls. Uh, of course, this is a second-hand unit. It's uh, no longer available new. Uh, but there you go, it can run DC, uh, DCC, but also our favourite 01 uh, control system, should you need to. Take care.